What is up guys? It is Keegan from Fishing Creek Outdoors here and today we are going to do my first ever vlog. Sorta of, kinda. Um, so basically I'm going to try to do a vlog slash unboxing kind of things and I'm going to great length to do this guys for you. I'm taking my rod tube, hiking to a backwoods pond and going to unbox it there and then you know I can fish with it right there as well. So we're going to give this a shot. Um, it's just over the ridge here. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys when we're there. But as you can see, tackle warehouse and boxing. So let's go. All right, so we're here at the pond. Um, pretty cool spot. It's along a hiking trail. Nobody really knows about it. The bass aren't really pressured here. It's only a couple of minutes away from my house. So if I ever just have a day where my parents don't want to take me somewhere, this is where I come. So I'll give you a quick view of the pond. Very small. Just in this little hollow looking thing. But anyway, we're not here for that. We are here for two unboxings. I mean, I guess they're the same order. But uh, then you saw the rod tube in the beginning. Um, so yeah, we'll open up this one first. Um, so first of all, with every order over $150, which this one was definitely over, um, Tackle Warehouse t-shirt, uh, sticker, as usual, and a spool of P-Line CXX uh, moss green 17-pound mono. Um, take that for in a second. Put this way in here. So it don't blow away because we don't want to litter. Um, all right. And we got this baby. Um, there's not just one rod in here. We got two. So uh, <laughs> I'm excited. Um, but yeah. Well, it's two days later and I still haven't uploaded that video yet. This is how to not get more subscribers on your channel. How to not do it. Anyway guys, I guess I'm going to kind of continue the vlog. Um, but now, we're at my house. We're out in the woods. Yeah, didn't turn out too well. Anyway, um, if you feel like walking, that's my dog. And I'll explain what this is in a minute. Um, anyway, I'm gonna kind of recap Tackle Warehouse deal. I did a very, very bad job at unboxing it. Unfortunately, it is now not an unboxing. It is show and tell. Um, anyways, um, in that Tackle Warehouse unboxing, we got the Shimano Zodius 6 foot 10, medium heavy, um, and we got that paired up with the Shimano Aldebaran, um, this is a 6 4 1 gear ratio, right? I actually don't think the Aldebaran says it on it, or... Oh, wait, it actually. Yeah, I think it's 6 4 to 1, right? Six five to 1. Alright, but anyway, that didn't come in the Tackle Warehouse unboxing. There's a separate unboxing for that on my channel if you want to check that out. But yeah, the Zodius is for the Aldebaran. I wanted something versatile, um, more for like roll casting and stuff like that. Um, whoops, I got my dog. That's not the point. Anyway, um, we have a uh, Shimano Zodia 6'10 medium heavy here. Uh, we get the, we have this paired up with the Aldebaran 51 6.5 uh, to 1 gear ratio. 
Good versatile reel. I can really use this for anything. Uh, pitching um, around docks with chatter baits and stuff like that. And spinner baits. That's actually a really good technique that a lot of people can try. You know, you can get the shorter rod right up against a dock and you know, just crank a spinner bait out because you're not, you know, casting and, and doing that kind of stuff with it. You really don't need a spinner bait specific rod. I got one of those. Um, but yeah. One of this for my Aldebaran, um, something versatile that I could use that um, get the maximum use out of the kind of money that I spend on this reel. Um, so I wanted to use it the most in a rod that, okay, if I got to pick one rod, this and a spinning rod to go somewhere from hiking, I can take this and be okay. Um, yeah, I'll give you a kind of closer view of that. Good looking reel as always. And the Zodi. It's all the way back there. Anyway, um, there's that. Got the X, the high power X. When I was fishing with it, you can feel it. It's so accurate. Um, just absolutely, it is, the rod loads up so well. Yeah, my trash missile jigs now because I've been freaking screwing with it on land. All right, uh, next rod that I got. These reels I didn't get in the Tackle Warehouse unboxing, Tackle Warehouse order. Uh, that's just what I put on here. Um, this is a G Loomis E6X um, spinnerbait rod, 6'9", medium, extra fast, this one. Um, and also in the order, I got 17-pound P-line. Um, CXX mono, uh, 17 pound in the moss grain, good for spinner baits um, and stuff like that. Uh, I forgot what else. Oh, buzz baits and chatter baits, anything with bladed. When I tested it out, the blank you can really feel. The blank was designed to, if you're for say this chatter bait, you're reeling it along the bottom and, and uh, you get a leaf caught on it. Well, some rods you can't even feel the blade whether the blades are turning or not on it um, but this rod you can really it really picks up the blades nice <laughs> meaning that you can feel if the blades are moving or not and then you can pop your blades free so you can tell it's a very 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 extra fast action I mean it is doubled over um, yeah it, this is a rod that I needed for tournament fishing just because I fish for smallies in a lot of tournaments Spinner rate rod is essential, and I got a Shimano Karate 200i, um, 6 3 to 1 gear ratio on here. Um, this is a right hand. So, yeah, but that's the G Boom is E6X, 6 9 medium, extra fast action spin rate rod. So, I really like the look of this rod. I'll be picking up another one at some point in time, I think. Uh, for my Chrono RCI yeah, 4 Plus, I'll probably get one. All right. I'll go over this first, since this is a vlog, and I really don't have to do unboxing aspect of it. So this is my new room. Uh, I've talked about it for a while, um, that I needed to move out of my nursery room that hasn't been redone or repainted, you know, for a long time. So we've had this playroom, all right, and, you know, it's for me and my sister when we were little, and my sister took kind of took it over as I grew up, and, you know, I kind of grew out of it and stuff like that. So... I convinced my parents, I didn't convince them, they kind of were like, okay, let's do this. So now I get a giant room that I can basically do whatever I want with. Um, it's above my attached three-car garage. So as you can imagine, if a three-car garage that can, each bay can fit a Ford Raptor in it, it's a pretty big room. Um, it's really neat. I love, absolutely love it. It's still in the process right now. Um, we just kind of started it, but it's 35 feet long. Um, I forget how wide it is, but it's got these three nooks that kind of go out. Um, I'm excited. Uh, we got all this reclaimed wood up on the, on the sides. Uh, that was a pain in the butt to get up. Um, but yeah, we still got lighting to go in, the carpet's coming, and then we got to do furniture and custom cabinetry and stuff like that. Two deer there, looking awesome um, there. 
Um, but yeah, I'm really pumped about the room. I get a giant room now. All right, so here is the real MVP. Um, other than the Alda Baron, of course. Um, so yeah, um, I was recently contacted by somebody that had, you know, some reels, and I was like, all right, you know, take a look, even though I just dropped some money on some new rods and I really don't have a lot of cash laying around. All right, I'll take a look at what you got. And I expected it to be some old 2013 Metaniums and stuff because he said he was selling some of his old stuff, but I didn't hear the other side of the story. Um, long story short, I got something that nobody else on YouTube has yet. Or there, people probably have it, but nobody has done a video on it yet. Bassmaster Classic release. Alright, so anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. I don't know how long of an unboxing it is. There's not a lot of footage, I don't think. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I got the G Luma C6X 6 69 medium extra fast spinnerbait rod. And the Shimano Zodia 610 medium fast, medium heavy fast. Um, but yeah, I'm really pumped about those two new rods. I hope you enjoyed the unusual unboxing and so on and so forth. But anyways, I'll see you next time on Fishing Creek, the Fishing Creek Outdoors. I almost said Fishing Creek in the Midwest. That would, I watched too many of John B's video. But anyway, see you guys.